All right, guys, it's New Year's Eve. It is the last day of 2021. So I thought I'd just jump on real quick and we can just grab a couple cards for New Year's Eve. Let's get maybe three cards, three, maybe four. Okay. Oh, these two jumped out together. Split directly that way. It was very interesting. I don't know. I just felt this is light versus dark because they split across and one went up and one down. Uh, okay. Your guidance is um, divinely guided. Kasha. And we have your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Pillar of light. Okay. Let me get two more cards. You know what my first thoughts are? And it's interesting because I had just done like the end of the year, like the whole uh, uh, year reading. And this is more just, hey, it's New Year's Eve. You know, we're going into a brand new calendar year tomorrow. Like, what do we need to know? Or like bringing us into the new year is what I was kind of thinking more. But uh, it's funny. If you guys saw that reading, I talked about... On Aaron Dowdy's live, he talked about the year of the shadow. And I was like, well, sometimes we have to go... Because this felt very past energy when it came out. And it felt very familiar. But it felt a little bit... Not really darker. But maybe it's troublesome or challenging times. And so I was like, oh, that, that message came up again. But I feel like that's what we're leaving behind. Because it says your, your guidance is divinely guided. Meaning that no matter what happened this whole year. Anything. Good, bad, ugly, whatever you want to call it, right? You are still being guided to your highest path, right? Because all of that shadow work or shadow energy that came up was purposeful because now we're going to the new year. Your vibration is raising, rising. You are the oracle. So we're going to leave it all behind. Oh, remember I said the card split, the darkness goes to light. Wow, that's why I was feeling that. That's so funny. But again, we're transcending. We've transmuted the darkness. We're going to the light. We're going to a new year, new beginnings. Let's just grab a couple more cards. It's like total transition is the energy I'm feeling. That's so perfect as we literally transition from one calendar year to the next. But let's see if we can get just, I don't know, maybe two more. Let's see. It's like new rays of light, new hope. This is like a new, I mean, I mean obviously it's a new year, but it just feels rather spectacular. Oh my God, it says the age of light right as we enter the new year. You're being, you've been training for this for lifetimes. What did I say? No matter what you went through, your angel of God has been guiding you to this point. You got it. Your soul's got it. Your soul remembers this, right? Especially if you're on the awakening path, you might like start to learn about spirituality and then it's like you're re-remembering or you're remembering at that soul level. Your soul has been guiding you this whole time. And so you're fine because you've done this before in past lives, right? Your higher self, your higher self is the one guiding you to these new days. Let's get one final card. I like that the age of light, right? Because um, we're going into the new, uh, we're going into like the new earth, but we have to bring our light bodies with us, right? So the age of light, right? And it kind of all started. I remember last year, there's the age of Aquarius. So now. And I know that's a zodiac thing, the age of light is not, obviously, but that's what was in my head as the age of light came out. I was like, age of Aquarius. I'm like, oh, that's what started this whole transition going into 5D Earth and like, oh, this light body energy, right? All right, so the last card is, it says, creating heaven on Earth. Guys, I can't even make this up and I swear I didn't see it because it flipped over there. It says, it's happening, Lamar Lemuria. Oh my God, what did I literally just say? The new Earth... 5D on Earth, creating heaven on Earth. That's what that all is. I can't even make this up. There was a reason. Oh, sorry, guys. You can't see it. There was a reason. All of a sudden, I was like, new age of Aquarius. I was like, what's happening, right? Because that was creating uh, just, yeah, the 5D Earth that we're all going to, right? So this is definitely like the spiritual awakening going on in the collective, transcending the old going into the light. You've done this before, before. Your higher self are guiding you. You chose to come here. You are one of the lucky light workers, star seeds, empaths that chose to come and incarnate here on earth this time because we are creating heaven on earth or 5D, right? Through our light bodies, the age of lights. It's happening. The great awakening. It's happening. If you follow the law of one, the harvest, it's happening. It's been happening, right? We've kind of been in this transitional um 
point, I know a lot of things changed with the solar flares in 2012, but there was the Great Awakening happening in 2020, right? But it's still happening, right? So all this energy is, 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 is here. So yeah, no, moving forward to new, I feel like the lighter, uh, with the pillars of light and the age of light, I feel like next year, sure, it's going to be lighter, but it's, we're going to be more in our light bodies, okay? Now, I'm not all of a sudden going to say, oh, you're just going to be your light body because we still have so much of that chemical ray body, that human form here. But I think it'll be easier to tap into the 5D and we'll be accessing more of our light worker gifts through our light worker bodies, right? Our light energies, okay? All right, guys. Yeah, I just want to jump on really quick, pull on a, pull a couple New Year's Eve cards. So, I wish you all a blessed New Year's Eve. Welcome in the new year. Happy New Year. Happy 2022 all right okay thank you guys so much for watching if you got anything out of this video do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button this way i know you got something that resonated if you guys haven't here just subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and there's a bell too you want the bell and turn on all notifications because i do daily videos and i don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages the next message just might be the message you need to hear today all right, to my loves, thanks so much for watching. Go enjoy the last few moments of 2021 and go ring in the new year. Here comes 2022. All right, thanks so much. Beautiful souls, be blessed.